recent bill in the Texas House would reduce the penalties for people caught with small amounts of marijuana. Local and state Republican leaders have different views about this bill. Big Two's Felice Romero has been looking into both sides of the debate, and she joins us now with more. Felice. Eddie and Katie, according to the Department of Public Safety, in 2017, over 64,000 people were arrested for the possession of marijuana in Texas. But a bill that could reduce these penalties has lawmakers on the same side disagreeing. A bill that would take away jail time for those caught with small amounts of marijuana. For some Texas representatives like Brooks Landgraf, it's about using resources wisely. In the Permian Basin, we're short on, on the number of law enforcement officers that we have. According to Landgraf, with the overcrowding of jails and low staffing, it's important that Texas uses their resources well. Possession of less than an ounce of marijuana is, is probably not where we need to tie up all of our law enforcement and judicial resources. Landgraf says this is an issue, but it's important to find a balance when passing legislation. But you also don't want to send the wrong message to, to children that it's okay to, to use drugs because it's not. In a statement opposing the bill, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick tells the Texas Tribune that he is, quote, strongly opposed to weakening any laws against marijuana. He also tweeted this morning that he is in agreement with the House Republicans who oppose this step toward legalization of marijuana, end quote. Despite the opposition from some of his party members, Representative Landgraf is hopeful that they will reach a solution. This was a bipartisan effort. I think there is a, a way to move forward. Now, we did reach out to Representative Tom Craddock's office to get a comment on why he opposes the bill, but have yet to hear back. Reporting in the control room, Feliz Romero, Big Two News. Very interesting. Feliz, thank you.